dirt on your lens. It probably shouldn't be there, but sometimes that happens to the best of us. And if you're watching this video, you probably have a clip in your edit with some dirty lenses. So let's take a look at how to fix that in After Effects. So first thing, I want you to notice that this shot isn't just stationary, but it also has some movement done in post with just a simple position keyframe. And for this reason, we want to pre-compose this and we want to make sure that we leave all of the attributes as they are in this composition. So once we click OK on this, it'll pre-compose that footage layer and we can then double click on it and open it up. So for some reason, this opens up the entire clip. So you're going to have to uh, refine those in and out points. Uh, but this is actually convenient because a lot of times when I'm doing stuff that requires uh, analyzing or anything that's time consuming, I like to give myself a little bit of headroom and a little bit of uh, room also in the tail end of the clip so that I can have options or maybe, you know, cut it a little bit sooner or later and not have to redo this whole process. And then another trick that I like to do to see my image a little bit better is to bump up the exposure in my preview monitor so that I can actually spot out those uh, spots in the lens a lot easier. So now that we have a clear view of all of the spots and there's many in this one, we want to mask them out. So we want to either select the pen tool to uh, kind of draw out certain masks or we can even grab a shape such as the ellipse tool and that will just allow us to kind of like circle out all the spots that we see. And then you want to set that mask to subtract. So now we can see that we've essentially cut a hole in our image and we're going to keep doing this for every little spot that we see. And one thing that I want to mention is make sure that you're creating your mask big enough to actually cover the whole spot. There's a lot of like fading and a lot of blurry edges that happen around these uh, these dirt elements in your lens. So you want to make sure that they're all completely contained within that mask for the best results. Set that to subtract and you can also do this at the very end. Now, I want you to quickly notice uh, this mistake that happens to me all the time. Basically, if you don't have the layer selected and you try to create a mask, it's going to create a new shape layer. You don't want that. So if that ever happens, just delete whatever was created from that and then make sure you're going back and selecting the clip that you're working on and continue creating masks from there. Take your time with this. Make sure you get every single spot and don't just stay on one frame. Make sure you're actually scrubbing through and seeing if there's any other ones that you notice. This, this could be hair. This could be dirt fungus and sometimes in some really old lenses. So sometimes even cleaning the lens might not be enough on set. There might be some uh, aging or damage in the lens itself inside if maybe you're using like an older lens like I was for this project. All right, so we're at the very end here. I'm going to select all of the masks that I've created and set them to subtract. And I'm also going to feather them out just a little bit. We can also hide the mask uh, outline just for now so we can see it a little bit better. And then I'm going to bring my exposure back down to normal, which is zero. And you can see that we have all of our holes cut out out of our image. So the next thing we're going to do is go under window and we are going to select the content aware fill panel. And you can see that we already have uh, all of our holes that we want to fill in already recognized in the content aware fill panel. So all we have to do is with the layer selected, create on generate fill layer let the content aware tool analyze the scene, let it run. This might take a while. And I've noticed that on some heavier projects, it can be quite painful if uh, you know, you're not specced out to the max with your computer. So be patient, It'll take a break, take a walk, do something else, come back to it. And then it'll give us this. So pretty big difference. You can see that with just some very simple adjustments that basically your your manual input was essentially just creating some masks. Uh, we get some pretty impressive results. So that's it. I hope you found this useful. And by the way, this is part of a, of a short film that I'll be releasing soon. So definitely subscribe and stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. My name is Chris Trini for Chris Gart and I'll see you next time. Always on the outside. Always on the outside, looking in, seeing you looking at the downside, feeling like the time's not right.